What's up everybody, Big B here, and I'm back in the garage to check out the Tetra 18 K1 6x6. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so the Tetra 18 K1 6x6. <laughs> the thing looks pretty cool, man. I was at the hobby store the other day and it was an impulse buy, I just picked one up. It's the first 18 scale and 6x6 vehicle to add to the collection, so that's really cool. And I kind of just wanted to give it a, a quick overview and, and take a look at it. This is the first one I've seen in person. The body style, you know, I really dig in that old school farm truck, power wagon type body. Um, looks really cool. It would have been even better if it was a hard body. They could have added a lot of really nice details to it, but it, it does look pretty good. I do notice that they have a really nice smooth paint on the body, but then the fenders are like a flat black and it does have a different texture between the two. So that's pretty cool. I like the big headlight units in the front with the headlight grills on them. That looks really cool. Just, it's just an overall tough looking truck. And it looks like this thing comes with a couple upgrades right out of the box that you would normally have to do on these uh, mini crawlers. And one of them is I really like the metal C-notch frame. And I know a lot of them have that, but I love the raw metal, the silver metal look on that rather than it being black. It really makes it stand out when you're looking at it from the side of the vehicle. That looks really tough, really cool. And then this body does have the magnetic clips with the swivel back. So that's really cool, nice and easy, no pins and no latches, you just lift and go. So that is really cool. That's a really nice feature, I like it. Nice bright silver undercoating on the body. Looks really good. They got the lighting wires coming down. Everything's fastened in there real good. So um, right off the bat, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with the cosmetic side of things. This vehicle's got some weight to it though. Um, it's got weighted wheels on it already out of the box. So that's definitely an upgrade that we would normally have to do with these mini crawlers. The tires on there, really sticky, real nice grip on those tires. I'm really impressed. It feels like a pretty decent compound rubber that they're using. It's not that real crappy tire material that, that like the SCX 24s come stock on. Man, those tires are so bad. These actually really nice rubber, you know, a good medium firm. They got some good play in them, but man, the grip on them really fantastic. I'm really excited to, to see what they can do. But yeah, the weighted wheels, it does have the plastic rims on there but they are a two-piece wheel and we got some kind of weights in there we'll have to take the tire off and open it up and see what it's rocking look at that though another another item right out of the box is aluminum oil filled dampering shocks that is awesome because again on these mini crawlers we're always getting these plastic shocks they're just friction shocks no oil and these actually come with aluminum housing oil filled shocks that is awesome and that does help not having a bobble you know like the SEXs when they come out um has a plastic front bumper really nice design on that looks real tough fills in the space but still you can see through it um does have 
the bumper rail right there where it attaches to the frame. You could actually put another light bar probably on there and the lights would be behind the grill here. That would look pretty sick. Yeah, very nice. So six, six by six, we got power to all the wheels. I do notice that the short drive line in between the rear axles is at a pretty aggressive slope. So I'm kind of curious to see if we'll get any binding issues. I do notice that when I push down on the back axle, on the uh, first axle, it gets a little bit of a click. I think it's kind of sticking in there. The rear is really smooth. But that one kind of clicks. It doesn't when you're doing articulation from side to side, but when you move the entire axle at the same time, you kind of get a binding click on there. I'll have to see what we can do about that. Maybe adjusting the suspension a little bit, either pulling the axles up or drooping them down might uh, align that a little better. When the rear axle is compressed though, the middle axle does move freely. So it is a slight binding issue in there somewhere. And I think that's just from the pitch of the driveline. So I'll have to maybe play with the suspension a little bit and see if we can correct that. Now the suspension post, the front and rear suspension post, I see that there are about six different uh, shock mounting areas there. So that's nice, you can play with that a little bit. If we wanted to get crazy, could probably drop the suspension down to the frame and uh, maybe get some longer linkage arms here and allow that suspension to actually drop down and lift this thing up a little bit. That might be something just to play with. So a 60 turn Panda, uh, Panda motor in there. Got our little transmission and it looks like we're rocking. It came with a 700 milliamp hour lipo battery which is very nice a 700 milliamp um a lot larger than what comes in the SEXs, but i know it's a you know it's a bigger scale vehicle and then running the extra axles it's a lot more heavy duty so that should uh be really nice we got several channels auxiliary channels open on the esc so we will be able to add multiple light kits or maybe a winch accessory or something but there's multiple accessory outputs there and uh, that is really nice it does come with a three channel radio and we got our normal steering throttle trims there um, steering and throttle reverse switches here but it does have a throttle rate switch, high, medium, and low. So I'm gonna fire this up in a few. And if that, I don't believe there's any secondary gearing or anything, but it might slow the motor down, popping that in low to get a more stabilized crawl out of it instead of a high speed. That would be pretty sick right on the remote. And then we have our third channel here. I'm pretty sure that's probably for the headlights, but that's nice that we have the option to turn off and turn off the headlights if that's what it is. So we'll check that out in a few. Um, but yeah, really digging, man. The weighted rims, the aluminum shocks, the, the steel frame, all very nice. Multiple outputs, um, accessories for the ESC so we can add in some extra lights and all that. But let me uh, let me pop this wheel off. I'm going to open it up and take a look at what kind of wheel weights they're using in there. And then I want to get overall weight of the vehicle out of the box. So on these uh, two piece wheels, we got three bolts right here in the middle hub. Just get this last one out. Pop this center hub out. They are plastic wheels. It would have been nice if they had some nice uh, metal wheels in there too since they're weighting them but the weight is really nice okay so they're they're using an aluminum weight ring in here it does have a little bit of weight to it but we're definitely gonna have to switch this out for a brass set and that'll really add a lot of extra weight in there the tires though man just super grippy really really sticky very nice compound and it does have the rubber i'm sorry it does have the foam in there but 
Wow, they did it right though. Look at that guys. The foam actually matches the tire. I've, I've seen a couple vehicles where you pull the tire foam out and the foam is just ridiculously stacked. Way different than the diameter of the tire, but these are like a perfect fit. So that is awesome. Real sticky tires. So I think they did a great job as far as the, as far as the wheels go. Um, we'll have to update the, the wheel weights for a set of brass weights, but that was amazing that they actually included this out of the box. I mean, nobody in the mini crawlers that I've seen so far has been including wheel weights with the factory wheels. So even though they don't weigh very much, at least it's something and they got it in all six tires. So it does add some significant weight on there, but we will do an upgrade on that and get those, get some brass fittings in there and uh, really make that thing have some, have some uh, weight on it. All right, let me get these tires put back together and then uh, maybe fire this thing up. All right, so the, a couple things there that I like and a couple things that will definitely need to be upgraded. Now, as far as the specs on this, it says that it has a 50 degree climb angle and a 45 degree tilt angle. I'm not going to be able to test that today, but stay tuned because I'm actually going to have a project coming up. I'm going to be making a test bench arena and we'll be able to test things like climb angle, approach angle, tilt angle, articulation, suspension travel, all that type of stuff. And it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make it, and I'm also gonna make it modular where we can use it for 24 scales and adjust it for 18 scale vehicles. That's gonna be really, really cool. Uh, I wanted to take the differential covers off, but I noticed that this is a solid axle back here. This isn't a differential cover. The axle would actually come in half. I wanted to check out if they're using plastic gears or metal gears in there. That might have to be something I do in a future video just to open it up and take a look. But, uh, but yeah, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. I'll have to see what size servo they're using in there. It is a little micro servo, but uh, I'll have to see what the torque specs are on it. Looks like it does fine those, considering the vehicle weight. And then uh, what I really wanted to check with this throttle rate, high, medium, and low. So that's high, let me, that's low, I'm sorry. Let me move it to high. So that's low, and then this will be high. Yeah, high definitely. I think it's using the same gearing. It's not like a two-speed transmission or nothing, but what it's doing is just having some, some sort of an RPM restrictor in there to slow it down. So this is low, which is pretty nice. Let me see modulization of the motor. It's very, it's very clicky. It does not have smooth, smooth speed when you're trying to do like a slow end crawl or anything like that. Look how clicky that is. I don't know if you guys can, yeah, there you go. I don't like that at all. Oh my God, it's very, so as far as like crawling, I might not use this that much for a crawl because that just looks real janky. Might have to look at upgrading the motor or the transmission gears and uh, see if we can get that to smooth out a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That's really, really bad. Okay, so I think that's the biggest negative that I've seen so far. <laughs> but I do like that you have adjustable uh, throttle rate 
right from a switch on the remote. That is awesome. I really, really like that. Now, as far as the third channel, yep. So we have our headlights on the third channel. Turn them on, turn them off. Oh, I guess they have a cycle as well. So mode two is flashing. Mode three is fast flash. And then back to solid. That's really cool. I like having the lights on the switch and they don't run all the time. Um, like my 24 Bronco. So that's a nice plus. I don't know what kind of upgrades they have for this. I will have to dig into that. If you guys have any links or know of any companies that are selling some really nice upgrades for this, please leave it down below. I'd love to check it out and get started on uh, upgrading this thing. I'm definitely gonna have to find out if the motor or transmission needs to be upgraded to get rid of that jerkiness on a slow crawl because I really don't like that. I would like to upgrade the linkage as well from the plastic to an aluminum links and then possibly if they sell some portal axles or something for this 18 scale, that would be an amazing addition as well. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice truck, man. It definitely has a few upgrades that I would normally do right off the bat with the wheel weights and the suspension. But, uh, but other than that, you know, it definitely has a lot of plus features that I haven't seen on some of the other vehicles that I really like but it does have some negatives as well. And I think the biggest one is that slow in crawl glitch. It's just very jerky. Uh, I want something nice and smooth. Um, something else I noticed in here was it does come with some window stickers. So you have the option of leaving the windows clear or blacking them out with some stickers, which that's cool. I really like having the option. I don't like it when they black them out yourself because some vehicles, they look good clear and some vehicles, they look good blacked out. So, I mean, you have an option of just doing the doors or the back window or everything. So that's really cool. This whole bed, open bed, I do know that they sell a different body or they have a different model that has like a roll cage back here. So I'm kind of thinking maybe of making my own with some really small diameter steel tubing and maybe doing like a nice roll cage, putting a spare tire on there, some fuel jug, something like that. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. I'd love to do some metal fab on this. Just, uh, and I kind of want to just get this thing and totally change it. I would love to lift it a little bit, get some nice wheels, a little bit bigger tires on there, update the motor and transmission, try and get that, uh, and get that pivot point smoothed out a little bit for the rear axle but other than that man i really dig in the style of it the size and just having that six six wheel crawl is going to be really sick so i don't know man just a quick little review i, I really like it it definitely needs some work but uh, i think the potential is there it, it looks like it's definitely a solid platform to build off of and i'm really excited to see what i can do with that I think that's about it for today, guys. If you guys liked it, hit that subscribe button. Keep showing the channel some love. Thank you guys very much for checking it out. Until next time, you guys stay cool. Big B is out, baby.